Hey guys, kicking it out in the shop on a Friday. We've got the Cousins 97 dime piece, 120,000 original miles garage kept. Oh, she's nice. Had a misfire. Uh, cylinders two, three, and six. And uh, anyway, so been watching it with the old Verus here uh, last week or a week and a half ago. So we have, uh, oh, what I do with it? Oh, I stuck it over in the reclaim tanks. Yeah. So we got, uh, we got some uh, CFSI. Trying to think of something I can call that at this moment, like uh, common, what'd I say? CF, uh, common fucked up shit injection, I guess. I mean, that's what it, that's what it is. Yeah, I just came up with that. That sounds about right. Uh, anyway, maps, uh, maps, everything's good. But this thing had a misfire like you wouldn't believe. I couldn't figure out what it was. Um, and anyway, so got to looking, got to looking. Um, damn, where's my light? Oh, I done zip tied it to the top. Let me grab old faithful off the charger here. Hey, you think I'm joking? $8.99 on Amazon Prime Day. Not even playing. I have abused this light too. Like, y'all wanna see? It's by Glow Products. It says, ah, the Creative Energy Company. If you want a good light for your shop, this thing has a battery that must be the size of a, like a drone, like a kid's toy drone battery, but it lasts forever. Anyway, they are not paying me to advertise for them, by the way. I just thought I'd give them some props because it is one dandy light for eight bucks. Okay, so we got a aftermarket aluminum distributor, uh, brass tip cap. I thought that's what the problem was, but continue to have misfire. A uh, truck came in originally for uh, intake manifold gaskets. We had uh, cylinders five and seven uh, crusting up the plugs really bad with the uh, calcium scale from the antifreeze, which if you look, uh, PCV valve comes in right there and then right there on the back of the intake ah, I can't get a good look at this right back there on cylinders on, on the runners for 5 and 7 is where that PCV valve um, really pretty much the channel for the PCV valve just dumps right there and uh, it was just flooding all the evaporative uh, moisture right into the runners on five and seven but anyways i took care of that <coughs> and uh i drove it 25 miles one way to uh pick up my daughter from a place drove it 25 miles back and it would run like a rape date but just as soon as uh as soon as you bring it back to idle the stoplight or something it would kind of have a miss and it seemed like it was multiple cylinder misfire and then you get down on it and uh, it would kind of stumble sometimes, not all the time. But man, when you get it up above 3,000 RPM, she was gone. I mean, take off and fly. So I get it back in the shop here and I start looking at misfire data and uh, two, three, and six were real prevalent on uh, uh, randomness. Well, three and six more random than number two, but number two was persistent. Number three and six were kind of uh, hit and miss but uh, three was more consistent than six. And so I, I told my cousin, I said, look, I think we should just go ahead and convert this thing to multi-port. And uh, man, it took me about an hour, uh, which, you know, I've already had the intake off. These Vortex aren't anything to really brag about. They're pretty simple. You just got your, you know, your kind of second generation fuel injection wiring harness and whatnot but i mean it's it's really it's really pretty simple and straightforward but the uh uh the kit came uh we got it off rock auto it was an ac delco kit and uh, uh oh anyway uh the part number uh 
was that one right there. So, oh, that's not doing a, a dang bit of good. Why is everything backwards? <laughs> he just texted me, said, what am I looking at? I sent him a picture of the screenshot on the Verus of the misfire day. This thing's been running for about 30 minutes. And here, let me switch, let me switch angles. Uh, I don't know if I can switch angles. God. No, you cannot see the misfire data. Anyway, uh, cylinders one through eight, there's absolutely no misfire. And this thing is just insanely smooth. However, I do see, uh, uh, it's actually running, uh, it says it's running rich right now, but it's been running long enough that the O2 sensors, both uh, both downstream and upstream, should have been heated up by now. And, and I'm not, you know, I'm not too concerned about that because before uh, it was trimming it was trimming lean on uh you know different banks because it you know it, it could have been trimmed lean but the problem was i don't think the poppets on that factory uh cfsi injection uh especially number two was firing uh at all and uh anyway he just texted me again but this thing is like so smooth like i've seen horror stories about distributor caps and and plug wires no man look I have had both a timing light and my uh, my uh, my actual fluorescent uh, my fluorescent tester uh, and it doesn't lie so anyway I've had uh, had both of those on here checking misfire you know checking for an actual ignition misfire but there is none and uh it's got fresh plugs in it they may be ac doco coppers but they're fresh and i just narrowed it down to uh the uh you know it it it, it wits in i i said well it must be the fuel injectors because i've heard horror stories about the cfsi but i've never experienced it at all but you know here we are i'm still watching cylinder misfire data and it's clear it's clear as a bell there's absolutely nothing we've got uh uh not sure exactly what my runtime is but everything it's been running for about 18 and a half 19 minutes now so it looks cool but i just thought i'd share that because I've worked on a lot of stuff, but not a lot of fuel injection, at least on gas burners. Now, diesel is a completely different story. I do that every day. Uh, but anyway, you live, you learn. That was pretty cool. Peace out.